Hey guys, it's Matt from Patriot News Network 2, and today's story has to do with the Michigan woman who is a pro-lifer. She was going around knocking on doors, campaigning against this uh, new law that they're trying to pass through, uh, le- uh, and it's not legislation, but it's on the ballot for voting, and trying to talk to people about it, and she was shot in the back. Now, in my opinion, this is a perfect example of the left losing her mind. You know, uh, another example of it is what happened in Florida with uh, Marco Rubio's staffer who got beaten and he he got hurt so bad he has to get reconstructive surgery on his face. Uh, You have uh, the Supreme Court justice attempt to murder against him. Uh, You also have all these bombings that are happening at these clinics that do not provide abortion and try to help people find uh, people to adopt and things like that. And uh, these people on the Democrat Party, they've lost their mind. You know, they don't want dissent. They want everybody to think the same. And this is another example of it in this story. But, guys, there's a video with it. Check it out. Don't forget, hit like and subscribe. Share and comment. It helps with the algorithm. And hit that notification bell. We really appreciate it. Peace. First at five, the Ionia County prosecutor has charged a man authorities say shot a woman campaigning against a ballot proposal that would legalize abortion in Michigan. The 84-year-old woman was going door to door, passing out pamphlets last week when she says a man shot her. 13 on your side's Trevier Gonzalez is in the newsroom now to update the investigation. Yeah, Juliet Bell, Richard Harvey was charged this afternoon in Ionia District Court. He now faces assault with a deadly weapon, careless discharge of a weapon, and a reckless use of a firearm charge. Now, Joab Jacobson, who was pro-life, says she was out passing literature about Proposal 3 in Lake Odessa. She says the bullet entered the top of her right shoulder and exited out of her upper back near her spine. Jacobson immediately drove herself to the hospital to be treated. Richard Harvey is reported to have said he was firing a warning shot and that he didn't mean to hit Jacobson. Now, Jacobson's attorney questioned Harvey's excuse, saying if he truly, if it truly was a mistake, why didn't he offer any help to Jacobson or call 911 after the shooting? Now, we will continue to follow developments on this story and bring you the updates as they happen.